branding and social selling consultancy. She's a real digital pioneer. Um, she's been in business for a long time. She's an author. Um, she co-founded the Chicago chapter of the Social Media Club. She's going to be speaking at an event in Amsterdam coming up, the future of events, and was selected by Nokia as one of two social media experts to represent the U.S. at Social Media Week in Berlin in 2013. Um, coming in from Glen Allen, Illinois, um, not quite Michigan, but thank you for being here. All right, thank you. So clear is important, but also understand that who you think is going to come and have a certain experience may not necessarily be the person you're thinking about. And I think everyone, I don't know about you all, but I'm always surprised at what I personally take away from an event. It might not be what I was going in there for. So I think you really need to have a surround sound. And I like your Beyonce example. Fast Company has her on the cover right now. And one of the, the sound bites from that article is all about owning the moment. And I think that's really what the event experience is about, is only the moment. Excellent. Quick ask by event planners, how can you contribute to this event? How can you make it different? And at one speaking engagement, I walked out and lined up many mouse stairs. So, you know, there are a lot of ways you can do things to add a twist and make it fun. If you know what people want and you have the delivery in the content. Excellent. Very good. Tim, I want the association and the event planner to think about how can we integrate a team on the ground and maybe even have some social social media ambassadors from those countries have a production that you do so that they can follow and you can build that community because it can be really rich and it can really be beneficial to not only the association and the event but the world. It was a big theme so follow people on social media and also don't be afraid to bring bloggers in. If there are people that are in your industry, I know in this room in 2007 I was here as a blogger for blog her, and I was one of the people doing live coverage. So they're out there, get them, and that's an affordable way. What is your takeaway? Well, since I have a few seconds here, um, I'm gonna bring it down to two words. I would say emotion and appreciation, because I feel like uh, there's, there's a lot of emotion that goes around to, to attending any event, and I think no matter what age you are, there's gonna be some great emotion, so I would think that would be one, and then uh, appreciation. How can you really appreciate those people who are participating in your, in your event and make them feel that you love them and, and they love you back? Excellent. I love that. Thank you very much.